Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I have episode 4 in my Six Nations playthrough on EA Sports Rugby 21, which of course is the old EA Sports Rugby 08 game, but using mods to update it to the current day. It is a mammoth, mammoth fixture we have in today's episode. England versus Wales, which is normally a humongous rivalry as it is. But as you can see when we go down to the standings, Wales played 3-1-3, England played 3-1-2, drew 1, which was in a previous episode against Ireland. So this is a real, real top of the table clash. Uh, we're going to have a look at the starting 15 first, but before we do get into today's episode, please do drop a like. If you enjoy the content and this series, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the series and who you want to see starting for England. And of course, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. So let's get straight into the starting 15, see if we're going to make any changes. We did make a couple of changes for the previous game. Um, it looks like Owen Farrell is now back from injury, so he can slot back into the team. We're probably going to put him in at 12, just to get him in there, because he is 90 rated overall. Um, apart from that, there's not really anyone in... Well, is there any changes? I mean, there's a few people there. Ben Earl. Jack Noel, Henry Sinead, Ben Obana. No, I think we're going to leave it at that as the 15. And we're going to fly straight off into this match. This could be the deciding match of the Six Nations. Of course, we are England. We are at home against Wales. And when I started this series, I thought it was a bit unrealistic to have Wales played 3-1-3. But, of course, in real life... That is exactly what they have done. So, you know, the guys who have modded this game have got it absolutely spot on. But hopefully we can turn things around here for England. As you can see, national anthems taking place at a lovely Twickenham Stadium. And it really is going to be balls to the wall today. Dan Bigger, Josh Adams, George North. Jonathan Davies, some big, big players for Wales. And there is your England 15, the return of the skipper, Owen Farrell. To be honest, I think I haven't put him on kicking, but it doesn't matter too much. We've got George Ford. Let's get this game underway. Lovely coop looping kick from Ford to get things going. It's been a little while since I've played this game, so... Oh, lovely, lovely hit there. Watson get back on side. Dan Bigger looking for the up and under. Who's going to take this one? It's going to be Elliot Daly for England. Courtney Lords bursting through, and what a clothesline from hell there. Terrible challenge. They do love the old high tackle here on EA Sports Rugby 08. We're going to punt it into the corner and see what we can do. Bang smack in the middle of the park, so uh, it's not going to make it, is it? Should have gone the other way, but the camera angle just was no good. Right, here we go, Curry. Johnny May. No support there for him. And Wales have turned it over. Ah, oh, and we crept offside. So they've got the advantage. There's absolutely hardly anyone around. Was the advantage over? No, it's not. Unbelievable. It's going to be an easy, easy kick here. Get Wales underway with a three-point lead. Now, let's start again. Let's go to the weak side and see if we can cause a bit of trouble trying to catch them out. 
Not quite. Oh, filthy offload. Get him down. Oh, unbelievable. Well, that was off offside again for a minute. So as you get back on side. Lovely tackle from Atoshi. He's gone an absolute mile there. George Ford kicking away. Lovely tackle from Watson, I think. Wales causing us some trouble. 20 minutes on the clock. They've broken through again. Ah. Oh. Try Wales, and you have to say it's nothing that they don't deserve, really. We've hardly got out of the block so far. Jonathan Davies, the star man. Halfway through this first half, we are already 10 points down. We've not really got a foot in the game, to be honest. Should be a simple enough conversion. Which it is. And unbelievably, just like in real life, Wales have got England on the back foot. For a low kick there. Nice tackle from Johnny May. Surely we turn that over. There was so much support there. Another great challenge. Bigger. Up and under again. All right, let's see what we can do. Ball in hand. To Alagi. Bursting through. He's not the fastest. He's not really got any support. He's got Owen Farrell there. We're on the 22. But the Welsh boys have got it back. And you would say Bigger's going to kick it away for the first line out of the matchup. Much better. Much better from England. Youngs. Johnny May. Youngs again. Let's go right. Oh, lovely. Watson. He's got support there. One more. Lovely pass and Farrell. Lovely stuff. That is much more like it from the English. Beautiful stuff and Farrell getting himself in, in the game already. The man who's coming back from injury. See if we can knock this over for the easy two. Should be okay for George Ford, you would think. Puts us in much better stead than it would have been going into half time. I was expecting the wind to blow that back in a lot more than it did, but it doesn't matter. It's Wales 10, England 7, 10 minutes left in the half. Finally, England have got themselves a foothold in the game. See what we can do now. Oh, terrible. Luckily, Curry was there to pick it up. No support. We're going to go out right again. Sam Underhill bursting through. See if we can make up some small yards. Expecting to suck in the defender there, but it didn't quite happen. Doors. George Ford, Vinopola. Ah, Wales have won it back in decent position. Damn bigger. He loves the up and under. Elliot Daly. Let's see what we can get out to the right, which seems slightly weak. Farrell here. Making up some ground. Carl Sinclair. In an unusual position for him. Now Courtney Laws again looking to break up to the halfway line. Oh, massive support here. Vinabola. Over the halfway line. Just coming up to half time now. Watson bursting clear. It's a good passage of play for England. Lost count of the phases. Tom Curry goes down. 
George Ford of all players shouldn't really be there. Let's go out this way. Oh, and it's frozen. It's not doing anything. Control turned off. No, it hasn't. Seems to be a bit of a glitch there, unfortunately. That'll take us into half time, which is a shame if we end up losing this. We're not many points. That will come back and bite us, you would think. We're in good position there. It was taken out of our hands, but it doesn't matter. Wales to get the second half underway. Three points in it. A big 40 minutes ahead in this Six Nations battle. George Ford. Great little run from Ford. Unfortunately, not much support there in the breakdown. So Wales have got the ball back. Vinopola absolutely came steaming in. Completely missed everyone. Elliot Daly, for some reason, is in no man's land. There's going to be a line out here in decent position for Wales if they can cause England some trouble. Luckily for us, we've got the ball. George Ford kicking it away. Lovely bounce. Josh Adams. Why is nobody tackling him? Why is everyone just letting him run around? Get back in the position. Now Farrell kicks it away. Again, not finding touch. It gives them a chance to run at us, which they do. And surely that is a knock-on. Nope, not sure what's happening there, but that was clearly a knock-on. Now Falatau is breaking through. Wales in good position, luckily for us again. We've won the ball back, and this time it should go to touch, surely. Surely he stepped, stepped on the line there. Oh, just like in real life, plenty of dodgy decisions go in the Welsh's favour. Oh, single looking to get through. Let's see if we can do what we did at the end of the first half and build some pressure and make our way up the pitch. Terrible offload. Luckily, Curry got it there. Really terrible offload. I'm pressing pass, but for some reason, they're not doing it. We've got a little gap there for George, Jamie George to run into. Again, building up plenty of possession. Atoji bursting through. Pass inside the Ford. We have got support there, luckily. Again, it's frozen. Unbelievable. I don't know if you can hear that. My controller's still on. And the game is frozen. Unbelievable. So yeah, disappointing, giving Wales back possession, just as we were doing a decent job. Bigger out wide, Josh Adams in acres of space there, making the English back line looking incredibly ridiculous. Right, we've got the ball back now, let's see if we can do anything. Not sure what's happening here, but the... Farrell gets down on the halfway line. The spinner out left. There's no one really there. Quick pass from Atoji and Johnny Mays away. He's got support on the inside. George Ford was just caught there. Luckily, it looks like he's managed to still get hold of the ball. Atoji again. Johnny May on the inside. Farrell bursting through. We've gone past the 22. We've still got the ball. We're going to have to come inside now to Vinapola. Can he do anything? No, he's on the line. We've still got the ball, luckily. Which way are we going? We're going right. Toji looking to break the ball down. Put the ball down. Sorry, he can't. Just... No, 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 no. It's frozen again. What is this glitch? We are centimetres away from scoring a try. That's three times in this game now. Oh. We had a chance there as well. These glitches are costing us big time. Bigger gets it away. Jamie George 
Right, let's get it away, Young. Let's see what we can do. Ford, Vinopola, Farrell. Ah, oh, terrible. That's going to cost us a game, and it bigger again. Looking for territory. Johnny May, it's quick thinking. We got the line out going. Can we go left here? And Maro Atoji looking to go around the edge. He doesn't quite do it, and because he had no support there, they've turned it over. I don't know why they didn't keep the ball there, but. Ah, oh, has he knocked it on? Not sure, but we've got the ball back. To Alangi is out wide now. Johnny May. Ah! Oh, he must have stepped foot on the line. And that is the game. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? I certainly can. So many chances for us. So many chances. These glitches, the three glitches, really cost us. Like I said, for some reason, just in the ruck there, scrum half was on the ball, and just nothing was happening. Incredible. We, sh well, to be honest, we should have comfortably won that in the end. We really should. And that was it. Wales have beaten England, and then in the final week, Wales have beaten Scot. No, Scotland have beaten Wales. Sorry, France have beaten Ireland. So let's take a look at the standings after four matchups. So we're all the way down in fourth now. Terrible. I mean, Wales have won the Six Nations. Congratulations to them. But yeah, disappointing for England. Only a game against Italy to come in the final episode. Hopefully we can salvage some pride, but that was a frustrating game to play. I wonder if it come across to you guys, but it was absolutely terrible. Really frustrating. England should have beaten Wales there, and then we could be going for Six Nations glory. Instead, we're down in fourth. But there we go in the next episode where we finish off at home to Italy. So that will be the last episode of the series. So, I, you know, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll be doing more things like this for other international tournaments and matchups, and, you know, the British and Irish Lions tour as well, hopefully. So I hope you guys do enjoy. But. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please do hit that like as well. It really helps out the channel. It helps other people find these videos and hopefully enjoy this series as well. Leave a comment down below. I get back to all of them. Maybe we'll mix up the starting 15 in the final game. Now we've got not a lot to play for. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments who you would like to see start. At the beginning of this episode, I show, showed you the players available. So take your pick from there. I get back to all comments. So feel free to message. Uh, if, of course, the main thing, if you haven't already, please move that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next episode. And I'll catch you in the virtual scrum.